Hello friends, welcome to Hello English. My name is Rupam and I welcome you all to my channel. In today's video, we will discuss about top 10 tips for better English speaking. In this video, I will share with you 10 ways how we can improve your English speaking skill. The tips which I am going to share with you today is already tasted, is already applied by many of my students. I have a music institute. And in this institute, I come across students who are very good in studies, but their English are little weak. So, whenever I come across some student who want to develop their English, I always advise them with these 10 tips. So I thought, let me share with you today. So I am making this video specially for you all, so that you can improve your English also. So let's begin with the video. Yes, before I start, one small request. If you like this video, please do subscribe. Great! So the first point. You need to relax. Don't be in a hurry always. Because when you are relaxed, your mind works more efficiently. Your mind remains calm and you get more time to think and you can talk without any problem. When the mind is calm, idea comes to us more easily. And when we panic, when we feel nervous, when we are scared, our mind gets puzzled. And it is difficult for the mind to generate more ideas when you are confused, when you panic. So always try to relax. The second point. Part of being relaxed is confidence. When you are confident, you will speak slow because you know that if you are talking fast, it will be difficult for others to understand. And when you talk slow, it gets easy for others to understand. At the same time, it gets easy for you to deliver your speech, to deliver your ideas. I used to take many interviews when I was working with companies. Once, I remember, I was taking an interview and that lady, she was not at all good in English. But she was talking very slowly and with full confidence. And whatever I was asking her, she was able to reply to me. It is all because of her confidence. She was talking slow, she was giving pauses in between, and she was smiling. That helped her to clear the interview. Let me share one more example with you. Suppose you go to Japan and you lost your address. How you will find? People in Japan, they will hardly speak English. So what you have to do? You have to be confident. Use your hand expression, use your eyes expression, talk one or two words. And in this way, you will be able to ask people the address. And if you are not confident, if you panic, simply you will be lost. You will end up nowhere. So, confidence is important. The third point is that as I was talking to you regarding Japan, let's take the same example. If you are traveling to Japan and you want to know something, you have to first understand the people there. Some may be good, some may not be good. Some may show interest talking to you or some may just go away, ignore you and go away. So you need to know your audience. Also, don't try to form full sentences. If you are traveling somewhere, try to use small, small words, small, small sentences so that it gets easy for people to understand you. I'll give you my example. 
when I was traveling to Malaysia. We went to a beach and we didn't realize the time. It got late. It was difficult for us to reach the hotel. We started asking people. No one can speak English. No one understood. So I thought, let me ask the traffic police. They may not know English, but they may know one or two words. So I went to a traffic police. One or two words, broken words, broken sentences. And I was able to convey this message that I am lost. Please help me. Same way, the traffic police helped me by showing the address. You go this way, this way. Done. So it is always important you know your audience and be confident. Here we come to the most important part. Number four is... Suppose the stick, okay, we have some stick. Those sticks are vocabulary and we have a glue or gum, we say. Those are grammar. Now, if you want to make sentences or if you want to make a house out of glue and stick, you need both. But if you only have glue, how you will make a house? If you have stick, if you don't have glue, at least you have some stick. You can manage, right? Same way, if you know certain words, you can convey your message. You will be able to make people understand what you are trying to say. So it is always important to master some important words, to have some good vocabulary. So to master vocabulary, it is important that you read. Read newspapers, read articles. Reading will help you to improve your vocabulary. The next tip. Don't assume that everyone will be good to you. Don't assume that everyone will help you. Simply, if you walk to someone and ask, Hello, can I practice English with you? No, that person will not show interest because he or she is not gaining anything from that. Rather, what you can do when you approach someone, ask some question. Where is this address? Or where is the bank? Where is the hospital nearby? In this way, try starting the conversation. Slowly, the person who you are talking to will show interest and you will be able to make a good conversation out of that. So, assumption will not help you. You need to study the mind of the person. Point number six. Don't try to be perfect in everything. If you have to convey some message to someone, don't try to form full sentences. It is enough to form small sentences with broken English. That's okay. When people understand you, it gets easy for you to get the reply from the person. No one is perfect. Remember this. I am talking to you guys. Do you think I'm perfect? No. The lecturer who is giving lecture in Oxford University, do you think he is perfect? No. We all are learning. Day by day, we all learn in life. So the more you try to become perfect, the more you will lag behind. You may think, no, today I am not perfect. Maybe after practicing for two months, I will be perfect and that time I will talk to others. Remember, my dear friends, that day will never come. Okay, you will not be perfect any time. Perfection never comes. So, whenever you get an opportunity, you need to speak. You may make mistakes. That's okay. We all do. We all make mistakes. So, always keep in mind that everyone makes mistakes and it is not a big deal. Point number seven. As I was talking about mistake, here is the point. It is good to make mistakes. Remember, we all make mistakes and we learn from that mistake. I will tell you my story. When I was reading in college, 
I was not good, good in speaking. So what I used to do, I used to sit in the back bench so that if the teacher has some question, he or she will be concentrating on the, on the first row or the second row or the third row maximum. So my turn never came. Does it help me? No, it didn't help me. It didn't help me to grow in life. It didn't help me to become fluent in English. I realized very late. But when I realized, my class was over. My days were over in the college. So it is always important that you speak, make mistake and learn from that mistake. Next year. It is important to practice. Practice makes a man perfect. So how to practice learning? How to practice English? There are many ways. You have a lot of options. The first thing what you can do is that you have to start with listening. Because if you want to become fluent in English, listening plays a very big role. So listen to some YouTube videos, whichever interests you, some podcast, some speeches, etc. We generally advise students and meditators not to eat potatoes and its family because they increase the sleep quota. Both for the student who is studying and for the meditator, the biggest enemy is the sleep. But I will tell you, what you can listen is that if you are… if you are an Indian, try to listen to something of Indian accent because you will understand better. Suppose you are from Australia, try to listen to someone who speaks Australian accent. It will be easy for you to understand. It is always good to start with some cartoons. Hey, are you smarter than me? Huh? Now just see, as soon as I throw wood into the well, he will come out. Both were arguing when an elephant reaches there and says to Golu and Bholu. Because in cartoons, the people who make cartoon, they give importance to easy sentences, easy grammar, because they know children are watching. Nine point. It is important to get engaged. I always tell you, if you get an opportunity, enroll for some English coaching class. Three months, six months. What will happen? You will come across many teachers. You will come across many students. You will come across scenarios where you have to speak in English. Slowly your fear will go away. Your hesitation will fly away and you will start speaking in English. And when you enroll for classes, you get to know what all things you need to prepare to make yourself perfect in English. Also, there are different platforms, online platforms, offline platforms. You can join those communities and start speaking. Finally, the important point is that you have to take risk. When you learn something, suppose a bike or a cycle, you will fall. You get up, rub your dust, again start, right? That's how is the life. Every time we start something new, there is a possibility we fall. But if you stop there, that's the end. Don't stop. Keep moving, keep rolling. Very soon, you will become perfect. Because unless you take risk, you will not understand how much difficult it is or how much easy it is. Give yourself a chance to fall. And when you fall and get up, no one can stop you. So my dear friends, these are the 10 tips which I wanted to share with you. If you have any question, you can ask me. Till the next video, thank you so much.